Hey everyone, this is Project SPC. Today I'm going to show you a never before seen MagClick case for the Latte Panda Alpha, the dual touchscreen case. Before I go over the features, there is a tutorial at the end of this video if you are interested in building this yourself. The computer, the Latte Panda Alpha, magnetically mounts to the top screen display using my MagClick case. You can find a link to this in the description below. On top is a 7-inch EDP touchscreen for the Latte Panda Alpha. On the bottom is a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen with HDMI and USB interface. Both of these are available on DF Robot website. A big thanks to DF Robot for providing the bottom 7-inch screen. The bottom screen plugs into a USB-C hub. I had originally tried to avoid using a hub. However, the bottom screen consumes more current than the Latte Panda Alpha can provide from a single USB port. To get around this, I used a USB-C hub since it powers its Type-A port directly from the power delivery adapter. You can also take this setup on the go if you use a USB-C power delivery battery bank at 45 watts, like this Omar's 20,000 milliamp hour bank. Alright, for those of you who stuck around to find out how to build this, you will find links to all the materials I used and the STL files in the description below. Here's what you will need. The 7 inch EDP touchscreen. The 7 inch capacitive touchscreen from DF Robot. The MagClick case. Tutorial in the description below. And the Latte Panda Alpha. The 3D printed parts. Two 25 millimeter long M3 bolts and the nuts to go with them. At least a 6 inch HDMI and micro USB cable. A USB 3.0 hub. It has to have display alternate mode and power delivery pass through. Be careful, not all of them work with the Latte Panda Alpha as I found out the hard way. The one I used is in the description below. At least four 6mm diameter by 3mm in height disc magnets and some super glue. Let's start off by installing the magnets on the 3D printed parts. I've already got them installed here, but I'm going to show you how to do it. If you've already built the mag case for the Latte Panda Alpha, you're going to need this to make sure you've got the magnets oriented in the right direction. Take your stack of magnets and then find out which way they want to click onto the case. So you know that all four of your magnets need to be pointing in that direction. So I've got my stack of magnets and at this point I would keep them facing up like this. Come grab my glue, put a dab in each recess, take the magnet slide it off the top, maintaining the face pointing upward, and then slide them into the hole. Do that for the rest of the three holes, and let them cure at least 12 hours. If you have extra magnets, you can always put them on the bottom to help secure them while they cure. Once the glue is cured, take your 7 inch EDP touchscreen in this orientation and install it such that the bezel is even on both sides. Remove the backing strips and install. I'm not going to remove mine from the adhesive because I'd like to reuse this screen, but it gives you an idea of what you need to do. Your cable should be available on the back like so. Next, take your bottom screen and the bottom piece. Remove the adhesive backing strip and install such that the HDMI and the micro USB ports line up with these holes. Once that's done, you're going to want to install the M3 hardware. going to install the EDP touchscreen. Now 
Install the cover back on and now it should magnetically click onto the case. Last, install your HDMI cable into the touchscreen and the micro USB cable. Plug those into your hub. And then plug those into your Latte Panda Alpha. And now you're ready to boot it up. So that concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those below and stay tuned for more videos.